Mark Nathan Judy, I'm here with Wolves supporter uh, Tim Spears. Tim, Wolves nil, Leicester City nil, but more importantly, 3-1 to Leicester City on penalties. And to be honest, it was a pretty drab affair. Uh, it wasn't yeah. great, was it? It warmed up as the night went on, but it wasn't. certainly won't be remembered by anybody. Certainly not me. Well, I'm, apart from the light show beforehand. Forget it. Oh, that was... Oh. Carabao Cup, 20,000 people. Well, it doesn't matter, is it? It was, it was, it was arena-style football. <laughs> I'm guessing that was a kind of a rehearsal, really, <laughs> for when it's a proper match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't care about the Carabao Cup anyway. Because uh, we, they'd been testing this out at night, and I presume mm. they were maybe going to bring it out for the Spurs game in November, the Saturday night game, but no, no here it no, was. No, no, no. Half the Steve Wall stands closed. <laughs> Uh, and they got the light show for the big game, and then all the fireworks and the fire as usual. I was like, yeah, come, yeah, on, yeah. come on, lads, really. That was literally the most exciting thing that happened for about just before an hour. nil nil, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, it, 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 it did warm up. It was interesting. Uh, it was interesting to see a lot of the players that we haven't seen much of the season and maybe won't see for a while now again, to be honest. But um, mm. overall, I thought in a bit of an opposite to. Uh, the league game last month it was Leicester who created the better chances yeah. and they deserve to win obviously they, they won that game as well but yeah they, they deserve to win tonight w- yeah. Wolves, Wolves didn't do enough to win no I mean Leicester started pretty strong as well I mean they had Jamie Vardy playing and Okazaki I mean that, that was their Premier League strike force last year so, so they didn't come with a second string did they no although uh, yeah you're right although neither of those two players actually did anything really of note except Vardy was way she- to the south stand shepherded um, uh, Courtney Hall shepherded the ball ahead of him <laughs> Twice in quick succession, which is quite, which is quite nice. Yeah. Bullied him out of it, and you had the South Patmore on his back because that red card last month, and he waved to them when he mm. departed. But other than that, yeah, it was all Brighton. Um, it was most of the danger man for them, and that, that they created quite a number of really good chances. Mm. Ruddy saved Wolves on um, on one occasion with a superb save. Yeah. All Brighton missed a six-yard header. Ibora flashed a couple just wide, um, but they, they were the better team. They looked like players that have played together before. Wolves sort of didn't, but that's mm. no excuse because at Sheffield Wednesday in the second round, they, they produced an effective, coherent team performance, but it just wasn't there tonight. Good news though was that even Cavalero we saw first first start of the season, and yeah. um, he, I thought he did all right. To be fair, it's weird the way Nuno does it. He, um, straight in, straight in. He did the same with Helder Costa last season. That I think it was Sheffield United away. Uh, and he hadn't played for a few months. Mm. If you remember, he got hauled off after 14 minutes because of Connor Cody's red card. Um, yes. But that was completely out of the blue. That's what he does because these guys don't. Nuno doesn't believe in blooding them in under 23 games. Um, so it's a bit of a weird one. So mm. yeah, he is straight straight into the team. But he got a good 55 minute run out. I thought there were a few decent flashes here and there. He's obviously not much sharp. No. Yet, but he looks ready for the bench. Um, at Sa- against Southampton on Saturday. Which will be interesting. If, if there's room for him. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Because uh, it's pretty chock a block on that bench mm-hmm. uh, at the moment. You don't really see who they, def- who they would leave out, but anyway, that's one for Nunes inside. But yeah, great to have him back because that means now Wolves have got a clean bill of health, mm-hmm. as far as I know. A couple of rumours tonight that Matt Doxy was was out, yeah, but uh, not uh, not got the full lowdown on that one yet. So I know, but yeah, Cavalera back, great. Um, obviously, lots of people, including yourself and, and me, at times pushing for Demetrio to start from the off at Premier League. I think I think Nunes knows what he's doing because he didn't really impress tonight, did he? Uh, tonight was the first time I haven't, I haven't been impressed in the, again there were flashes it was him and Cavalera were trying to get Wolves going mm. Vinagra as well with a, with a bit of magic and a bit of a driving run forward but there was there was no kind of collective really and sure. Troyora yeah not much end product he, he tried to get Wolves going but, but couldn't he couldn't mm. do it on his own tonight he often does do it on his own Yeah. but tonight as with Wolves just wasn't quite the night for him Morgan Gim White got a start what do you think of him? Um, doesn't doesn't look out of place whatsoever. 18 years old. It's so easy to forget. Thought he had a great chance um, down here. He did have a good. He did have a good chance. Yeah. He needs to work on his kind of conviction in front of goal. Mm. He had a few at Sheffield Wednesday in the second round from a similar kind of area, 20 yards from goal, and he tends to put it too close to the keeper. So yeah. um, he needs to work on that a, a little bit. But um, certainly confident on the ball, composed. Um, I think they're still trying to figure out what what position is best for him. You know, we've seen him as part of a front three. We've seen him in a central two. Which one's it going to be? But um, I, yeah. thought, I thought I thought he was good. But Wolves did lack, of course, that control mm-hmm. that Neves and Matinho bring, sure. or, or certainly just Neves from last season. Um, Sasson gives White just aren't, a, aren't those type of players. So Wolves' whole dynamic and whole style changes. Mm-hmm. They look a far poorer team for it. Um, it just shows you what, how important those two players are. Uh, when Wolves get a 14th minute penalty on Saturday against Southampton, don't want Roman Say stepping up. I, I groaned. Oh, I gro- did gro- he did properly groan before as well, before the tweet was, was sent. I, I, did, I did groan. Uh, 
because I just don't understand what, oh, I don't know. why he would be the first penalty taker. Surely it would be. Jo I know Jota missed, but sure, but he's under more pressure. Yeah. Because they'd missed the first one. Surely Jota steps up. He scored a penalty for Wolves before. Yeah. Uh, Benny actually sealed took the best penalty of the night. Yes, he did. Showed him how it's done. Straight in the top corner. Yeah. Um, bish bash bosh. And then with Traore and Jota's, they were good saves. Mm. Certainly the one from Traore is very good save, and from Danny Ward. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why Saves took the first penalty. You can just see him not scoring, and mm. that's, what, that's what happened. Uh, it's a shame though, isn't it? Because like you say, with the competition for places, that the, this competition and the competitions like this moving forward uh, is the only time they're going to get game time minutes. Oh, well, I, I feel so sorry for John Ruddy and Courtney Hawes mm. in particular. At least for some of the others, like Saves, we saw come out at Old Trafford, as did Gibbs White. Bonatini's had quite a few minutes this season. Vinagra's come on in most games, but Hawes and, and Ruddy haven't seen a minute of league action and may not mm. and so we may Until not see them again January FA Cup third round to January FA Cup and, it, and, it's, and again for all these other players Vinagra says they won't not start in the league so it's sure. a big shame for them um, Dendonka's what Dendonka and Traore and Cavalera are ones that you can see being merged into the mm -hmm. first team mm -hmm. um, in the near future but Dendonka wasn't really tested too much we didn't see him really stretched or have to do uh, too many kind of one-on-ones but he, he looks he looks Pretty decent, pretty solid, pretty composed. Um, that was about it, really. It was all, you know, a bit of a sneak peek for the player ratings, but they were all kind of six and sevens out of tens. No, oh, nobody was fives in there. Nobody, nobody was, nobody was really bad, but nobody was really good either. And um, it was, yeah, like I said, not, not to forget. But like a lot of the fans said, the the trade in a defeat tonight for three points on Saturday, and that is the most important thing, inevitably. Yes, I mean it was the same. It was the same last last season. They wanted to progress in this competition as long as it didn't impact mm -hmm. on the league form. They, they managed to do that, uh, they didn't concede a goal, still haven't conceded a goal, it's 600 minutes under Nuno, you know, it's unbelievable, it's unbelievable, uh, cray, six, cray. six matches, yeah. 600 minutes, they haven't conceded in the Carabao Cup, still, um, but they've gone out on penalties two years in a row after 0-0 draws, so um, it shows you the strength and depth there, certainly defensively. But yeah, Saturday's the one, back at mm. Molyneux mm. for what will be 10,000 more people in here, the Wolves' first team. Light show, no? Light show at 3 o'clock, 2.55. <laughs> too, too early for that. Uh, so, yeah, another gr a great chance to get three points. You know, if they play like they did against Burnley, mm. then then they'll win. I'm sure they will. So it's it's up to Nuno to um, to lift them, because a couple of them will need lifting. It's been, it's been a weird week of emotions, you know, yeah. with the Old Trafford high and, and a bit of a low here tonight. So mm -hmm. he'll get them on an even keel, and I'm sure they'll be ready for Saturday. Not meant to be for Wolves tonight for all the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to Express and Start.